Ah, cool. Hello, brothers. Okay, so today we're gonna look for this box. This box was like is like stored under my bed, and I, it's got like a lot of stuff in it. So today we're gonna look through some of my old art books. Uh, whoop de doo, man. Book one, Mont Mart drawing pad. All right, let's have a look in this baby. We have the first page. Seems pretty fine from what I see. Yeah, we got a ghost, brother. Hey, the ghost, yeah. I don't think this guy has a finished body. We got these over here. S -s snatchy hands. He's turned his snatchy hands on. <laughs> we got the guy from the Mad Magazine. What's that kid's name again? Comment down below. Anyways, uh, we got this fella. We got this fella. 27 and 26. They, they make a good pair. What? Lintas Ferra Juger. All right, here we go. Next page. We got this one. Uh, memories, brother. Look at this dude. I think I should expand on this fella and his flaming sword. I like it. Can someone explain to me who drew this? It was me. Because I, because um, before the cookie run thing, um, I was into the Lintas Ferra Juger and I, uh, I drew these two. Anyway, next bit. Now we have. Ooh. Very nice drawing, you handsome fellow. We got the ee, little crazy fella. Uh, look at this dude's hair. I like his hairstyle. Robot with a gun. All right, this is why I uh, think about overreactions on the news, about how what they do when uh, they run out of ideas. <laughs> Don't step on the grass. <laughs> All right, quiet garbage. Nice little picture of little boat. Insert inspirational quote here. You're cool, man, and I love you, and you're great, and you're not a joke. Next page, brother. Oh, this is a Scott Morrison one, because uh, he had this he had this speech where mainly the only word he said was aspiration, and he says aspiration, 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 aspiration. aspiration. We got this crazy looking people. Whoa, whoa, what's on with your hat, man? Woo, get rid of that hat. Politically incorrect. Now, next page. We be box stapler. Look at that fella, he's shooting you with a stapler. Ah, oh, hey, here we go, the iconic page. The Bigger Diggly Willy Wong Band. It's so grand. Now, it features the Red Boy Man, and he's a character I made on my old map. Uh, I should probably send myself a picture of it and like display it here. Here's the picture. We have this fellow with a guitar. Hmm, we have this fellow here. But there's something you may have noticed. There's an erased part, and that's the bit here. <laughs> you know what that is. All right, next bit. Now, for an explanation for the next page, this is uh, based upon my old video, old card game I came up with called uh, Pocket Idiots. And, well, let's just say it's not that good. Oh, we got the fandom and stuff there, yeah. Right, here we go. Uh, I think that's about the last page. And then it's got this one, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's so light, brother. We got a... Uh, vaping causes lung cancer. Lung water, lung water. Okay. And we got a uh, dead guy. Texas. Clayman. Guy about to get his finger cut off for the money. And we got, uh, how does one consume soggy popcorn? I guess that's it of the book. Oh, and boy, that's a tasty tree. You gotta love this one. So yeah, that's that's first book. I rate it. I'm gonna give it a solid six out of ten. I love this last drawing. Gives it an extra two points. But um, you know the other drawings are pretty kind of generic. But. I will add a, not a point because of the Scott Morrison image. So I'm going to say seven out of 10. Book two, brother. Okay, this one is a very, very old one. I think I was back in like, uh, I think I was back in year one when I made this one. Uh, here we go. We have firstly, my depiction of future humans. By the way, I'm not gonna look through all of these. I'm, I might as well like scurry through the book at some point. We've got evolution. We got these guys who are protesting about stuff. It's a big, big book of stick man. This is when I could only draw like simple figures, but I made uh, my most out of it. We got this one. 
This is why I drew it with my friend Charlie. Uh, eventually, like, I recovered this and I drew some more. And I got, drew this guy that's like putting money on him. Alright. Oh, we got upgrade buttons too. And he's next to me. <laughs> Not much here. <laughs> is he carrying a bunch of humans? Alright. So we got a car hook. We got that too. This one. I like to draw these pictures that are about the section and, uh, well, like infinite images. We've got these people running up a hill and uh, I came up with a game called Blood Rush, eventually uh, uh, through the idea of the running up the hill sort of thing. And like there'd be traps and stuff everywhere and you have to escape it. This is probably one of my best drawings ever. This is uh, the Stickman Zombie War with um, a bunch of like airships and Stickman everywhere, blah, blah. This is like the best thing ever. Like, I'm just gonna like do a zoom in and slow move throughout all of it. And that's the image. This is the best one in the book. Alright, next bit. I got these ones. This is like a video game I came out with a very long time ago. That'd be like a mobile game with just like these three roads and zombies would come down them and you have to place your defenses. They have like AK-47s and different weapons and you have to like upgrade them. And as it goes on, there's like bosses and stuff. And uh, when the bosses play, you aim at them. I might uh, uh, maybe expand on that idea a bit later. We've got this control room and the big monster. Right, we got this. This is my Penn and Teller images, George and the Sullivans. Uh, I came up with this one that would be like really bad, Stick and Stick Man. We got uh, these really bad uh, people who are magic. Like a... This guy's doing that uh, infamous trick at my school where it looks as if you're pulling off your thumb. We got uh, this guy, <laughs> he's stuck in a box. And this guy's about to drown, man. Okay. I never got to go, brother. We have a carnival here. This is like a reference to the little big one at this one. And we got the super coaster, the super coat. Super coat, yeah. Let's see. Oh, I'm a hundred inch. Oh, 70 inches high. Damn, he's not, he's not tall enough. Oh. Right, look at this guy. Is, that, is this another zombie? All star moment. Okay, I think this is like a, like garden warfare like weapon. Like the, the one the, uh, the, foot soldier had where he sh shot the uh the green things <laughs> what did he shoot again did he shoot like the old yellow paintballs i can't remember now we got uh the robot ride and we have rocking pine you flavor granola oil and we got all these other ones snow games thank you very very much um no one really has manners nowadays which I, which is what i'm upset about all right we've got all these stuff Roller coaster, people shooting. We got that. The hard head smasher. Entertainment! Cool stage. The turbulent terror. Okay, next page. A boat battle. Right. I'm just gonna look through all these. Cool, cool banana. This is another one of my images. We've got these people fighting on a block. There, soldier! Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, here we go. Next bit. Just call me daddy. That was my favorite bit of SpongeBob back then. Where he, he had a giant arm in here and he said, Just call me daddy! It made me laugh. There's like a comic there. Find him on the other pages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back, go back or forwards to find me now. I made like a dead ball stick man. This is for another um, video game concept, but like I don't know what video game it would be. We've got easy mode, we've got normal mode, we have extreme mode, and then we've got hard head smasher X. And I guess that'll be the hardest mode out of all of them. I got some characters here. I think this is like from Bowmasters or something. 
Like, I was trying to copy, like, that javelin throw from Bone Masters. I can't remember his name. We got this dude here. I think it's, like, a hippie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the javelin dude from Bone Masters, and he killed the hippie. Here's another battle image. I uh, came in on my later years and continued this one on a bit. Mission from space complete. I got the keys. We got these ones. He's got an epic battles ticket, brother. <laughs> Look at this fella looking down from his home. He's just been lifted up from the ground. We got, uh, I think uh, this is supposed to be Donald Trump because of like, the crazy hair. And like, he's happy that this random person died. I can't remember what he was. This is like, well, this guy over here is like a ninja from Dan the Man. I can't remember what they were called. This guy's on a battle robot. I made these guys called the Stick Men and the Blockheads, and they were at war with one another. They hated each other. All right. Next bit, we have a nuclear war. Look at that. It's like broken, broken uh, infrastructure and stuff. I, <laughs> dude, I was the best at making these infrastructural images. Because um, I love the like railing and stuff. And we got uh, a character. Okay, that's that's it. Without a doubt, this book is rated 10 out of 10. And that reason is purely because it's not a book about fandom or anything else. It is just a pure, cold hard drawing book. 10 out of 10. Now this next book required me to visit the uh, unknown lands of my garage in order to find it. Took me some time, but you know, I got to it. Ooh. Book three. Right, right. I do not have great expectations for this book. Uh, could be bad, could be good, who knows. Let's look for it. Here we go. Page one. We got these fellas. Things just don't seem right. All right, next bit. We got this guy. We got this guy. This guy's a pasta fella, I think. We got next one. <laughs> when you lean back on the chair too far. I always do these strange looking fellas. They were nice though. <laughs> we got the fire storage guy. He's got like dynamite in his hand. He's about to kill us. We got this fella. Rob's locks. We got Fry's Night, it's Pan Man, and we got ooh, a bone saw. Cool. Right, we got uh, an idiotic celebrity. I thought we were having steamed clams. No, I said steamed clams. <laughs> we got uh, the half head man and the tat fella. Bruh. Mail. Next one. Hey, 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 get all, get, stop the blurriness! Stop it with the blurriness! Quit the blur, okay, good. We got this fella here, he's a member of the Fragile Store. Strange. And we got these fellas in a base. <laughs> get away! They're about to kill this fool, man. Okay, we have these dudes here. Oh, look at you, give you a child. A fellow. A clown. Oh! And we got another idiotic child. Wait a moment, there's two of them. And then we got this guy. There, there's another fella. Next one. Totally accurate box battles, brother. Right, next one. Rise of the Idiots. I was gonna make that like a movie. Maybe. Tell me if Rise of the Idiots sounds like a good idea. I should make stop motion of it. We got this dude. Next one. He's sitting down in the lounge. He's having a good time with the lounge reading Twitter. Despacito. No smoking. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Sir, don't smoke. Smoking is good. I'm in the mafia. We got all these healthy children gathering around this man. Who is this man? We got it. They're put. <laughs> There's the healthy children over there, and we got the uh, these people. What are they doing? Oh no, the crank on his head has fallen off, and they. I think they've taken off his head. That's a nice one. Let's go. Quiet. Shite. No, it's not. 
back by a closer vest. As you can see, it's a chaotic kindergarten. We got shot, which means crap, and two half baked loser, uh, a kid who has completely lost it. Who is completely lost it? Man, I was a kid who is completely lost it. Okay. Uh, we got this guy at a bar. His name is Gingo. From what you can see. Oh, G and Go. Maybe that's the name of the shop he works at. Guy banging his head, little fella. Alright, let's just get through here. Out of that man. We got this dog. I'm just gonna do some scrolling now. Oh, uh, kid named Kobe. Not, uh, I, I'm not talking about a, uh, a, a, a Kobe that uh, left my school. Well, that left my school first. I was in my class. I'm talking about Kobe that was in a different class. And he was a great artist. Uh, he had like three YouTube channels, but he deleted them. Alright, we got some more of these, brother. Butter nose, my shoes. <laughs> Sir, what is Popeye Todd? Lovely fan fiction, kid. Oh, I got this guy down here. Wait a moment. Fishira has something to tell you. What is she doing? Oh no. I expect something, brothers. Look on the world map. Where are we going to invade? Russia! <laughs> See, I need a new pair of pants. I wear my pants. I love you, my lord. As expected, my brothers. All right, next bit. We have a fellow. Another fellow. How many fellows are there? Wait, what's this guy drinking? He's drinking Victoria Bitter. <laughs> next bit. Stuff that Stephanie We got an electric shocker. Avengers Affinity What? Captain America. And yeah. Little guy in here. Joshua Arthur. <laughs> Joshua Arthur, also known as Apple Juice Artist. Josh sometimes beats himself up for being a bad artist, and I, I think he shouldn't, man. Uh, all of us are good at art in our own way, man. I draw cartoony characters, and uh, artists that uh, draw realistic stuff, they like come over, they go, this is not realistic, man. This is not art. It's those are the ones that aren't chill, but there are some that uh, are really chill to say, yeah, that's pretty good, you know? But a lot of them do think, uh, some of them do think that uh, your art isn't realistic, which can make it bad. Now. Oh no! Oh no! He's getting pulled out! <laughs> oh no! We got uh, this guy drinking vodka and it's got like a, is it like a farmer on it? Yeah, it's got like a farmer on it. Right, let's go. Why do you stop your report? Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna do a like, thing where I'm just gonna go through all these and you get to look at them. Yourself nowadays, I just think was a little cring a bit. Sponsored by Mankers. Alright. Somebody was telling me the world is not trolling. <laughs> Oh, these 
are all my characters that I came up with. These are classics, brother. We've got uh, these here. I, I, I might uh, show these in different videos because the video is kind of dragging on, man. I, I might show you all of these a bit later, all right? These are for like a first person shooter and stuff. And I think these concepts are great as hell. These are like the best things ever. Though, unfortunately, I don't think I have enough time. It's gonna take up too much space. So, I'm gonna give you my rating. Now, that is a solid. Da -da -da. I'm gonna give it a solid. Uh, uh, fandom bits were a little bit cringe, but the rest of it made up for it. So, solid 8 out of 10, brother. Ah! Oh, <laughs>